today we're going to be turning this into this. Spider venom. No milking required. So I took an old herb bottle and removed the stopper and I found a cork that would fit into it. And then with the cork off, I put a little bit of glue on the side of the bottle, put a piece of crumpled tissue paper on that. You want to crumple the tissue paper as much as possible because the wrinkles are what make it look old. And then just paint glue over the top of that. When you're done with one piece, put a little more glue on the bottle, crumple another piece of tissue paper over it, and continue painting the top of the tissue paper with more glue. When you get to the top, make sure you put it on thick to hide any threads where the cap was on. Once you've got the entire bottle covered in paper mache and it's dry, cover the whole thing in a coating of black paint. You want to use a matte black because if it's too shiny it won't look as old. You can see all the wrinkles that really give it the old look. Then I took a plastic spider and traced that onto a piece of gold paper. Trace an oval around the spider. And then I cut that out with some decorative shears. To give myself a nice little wavy edged oval. Put a little bit of glue on the back of that and stuck that right on the bottle. Then I put a little bit of glue on the back of the spider. Stuck that in the middle of the label. Then I took some white puffy paint and went all the way around the label leaving a little bit of space so that there would be a black outline around the gold paper. Then I cut a rectangle of the gold paper and wrote spider venom on it with a little spider next to it. Cut a rectangle of black paper, glued the gold piece to the black piece, and then cut out around that making rounded corners and a little triangle point at the end. Then I took a copper eyelet, made an indentation in the triangle part, trilled through that with a pair of scissors, stuck the eyelet back in there, and then crunched the eyelet into place with my pliers. So there's my little tag. Then I took a piece of distressed fabric to use as a string, a very thin piece, threaded it through the eyelet, and then I tied that to the top of the bottle, measured out how wide the loop needed to be, made a loop, and then just slip that back over the neck of the bottle, cut off the excess string, and stuck the cork back in. Took a little red plastic gem, glued that to the body of the spider to make it look somewhat like a black widow. No hourglass, but it's enough to give you the idea. So then here's the finished spider venom bottle, and that just goes back on the shelf with all of my other nefarious potions.